Ryan and this is now Justice Sam. Welcome back to another episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. Now, before we actually get started, I must show you something that is like very important. I have a full battery of thingy Mrs. Wii Remote thing. I know, it's like the best thing in the world. And I never got to really mention it in the last episode, but, well, I guess I can mention this too. If you go back, there's this thing, and then, you know, you can see all the thing, like, the other thing over there in you know, the bedroom. And what I really wanted to mention is that Mailto got moved over to where we start off. So here's a letter from Princess. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. Ah, oh, it's too bad. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay. You'll, you'll get it next time, Luigi, even though you didn't really do anything. So, in the last episode, we completed the fountain as far as it can be completed, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. I'm pre I think, I think, I think. So, yeah. That's not what I meant to do. Yep, alright. And there's a hungry room outside of the kitchen. So. There's a car in the kitchen! Hashtag full house boy all day every day. It's not that bad of a show, honestly. So it can get pretty cheesy sometimes, but you know it's okay. All right, so let's got let's talk to this guy. Hey, you yeah, you got any tasty thingy starbits? If you feed me a bunch of thingy starbits, I'll burst and snappy happiness and truth then transform. I'm finished. I need six hundred thingy starbits to curb the hunger pains. So hungry. All right. So this is basically where I was at at Yoshi Master 1026's house when I played on his file. Cause he basically left off in the kitchen and I played the Hungry Luma level. And I honestly don't really feel like playing here again, but I gotta do. So the Drip Drip Gotsy has now pe uh, appeared. And we have 999 Starbits. Wow. And I have the hiccups now. Great. Giant Eel Outbreak. Um. So, as you can kind of tell, the level has to do with eels. Now, the star isn't actually appeared yet. S or, yeah, I guess this is how I can explain it. So, I don't know why it has to do this, but, I mean... Okay. So, as the title says, it has to do something with eels. But, you don't really know. Now, they give you a shot at the start. And if you shake it, if you shake it, well, if you shake the Wii Remote, or not shake, whatever you feel like, and you have a shell, a Koopa shell, you will throw it. And you have to throw it at the eels, so, basically. I mean, I don't know, just, all right, let's not, let's stop following that one, that one's kind of hard to, all right. Come on, oh, yeah, I definitely missed that, okay. Oh, it's, uh, oh yeah, something with Luigi. If you keep spinning, uh, which you might not want to, um, your your health your air meter gets depleted, which is something new that they they uh, changed from Mario to make it kind of harder because Super Luigi Galaxy is a little harder than Mario Galaxy. So let's go outside for like not even a second because I need to. I don't know what the difference is between the red Koopa shell and the green Koopa shell. Maybe the red one is faster, but I don't I really don't. Uh, oh, wow, there's a lot of eels. Ah! Come on, yes, alright, so we got one of them. If you hit it, it'll just die in, in happiness. So, yeah, I think there's three eels in total. So, oh, thank you, I need that. So, you know, it's, yeah, that's all I have to do. Oh, come on! Oh! Yeah, that's how you do it. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, I think I just... Yeah. No! That was really close. Alright, so where's that last one? I'm look, I'm on a hunt... For... I'm on eel hunting... Uh, I don't... Know where it is. I... I I can't find it. Uh, oh, I, I just saw it, I just saw it. I think, I think it's over, it's gonna be over here somewhere. Uh, um... Um... Oh, here it is, okay. Oh, 
yeah, there it is. Oh, maybe those red shells do home in on the enemies. I don't know. Maybe, just maybe. Alright, so there's the star, wherever it is. Alright. Might not want to spin, but... Why not? You know, YOLO. Except for when you're playing video games, then not really, but, you know. Oh, well, I guess I got there, but... So, here is... Star Underwater! Okay. Da-da-da-da! Boom! I just focused the camera. Alright, so, that was okay. I don't know what that was. But, let's, um, go back to Beach Bowl Galaxy and do the remaining three stars that are there. Right, yes, I'd like to save my game. Alright, so. We also, when we play Beach Ball Galaxy, um, the, a certain level, which I think is the last one. Uh, yeah, it is the last one. When we play a certain level, we will be introduced into, to a new, um, prankster comet. Um, oh, okay! That, um, that's a neat thing I can sh that I, um, showed off. Sometimes, like, if you fall down there at a certain angle, you'll grab the one up as you are being pulled up. So, yeah. Whoa! You gotta watch out, man. Alright, so Beach Bowl Galaxy. Yeah, it's the last one, but... We'll definitely have time to be completing this galaxy, probably, maybe not. So... Let's-a go, I mean, you know... Yeah. Passing the swim test. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely be able to complete this galaxy, because this is a very short level. And, I mean, it kind of has a neat thing to it. I like it. And we have the return of the penguin, even though he was in the last mission in this galaxy. So I, mean, I guess I probably should have pointed that out there, but you know. Alright, first, before we talk to him, I kind of, actually, no, I can't get that yet. Well, I mean, I can, but not from the way I want to do it. You're gonna take the swimming school's final swim test. Yeah, sure. In this test, you must collect the shells in the ocean. If you bring me the gold shell, it's an automatic A for you! Well, okay. Alright. So, yeah. Alright, so there's the penguins that have the gold shell over there. I'm gonna come out over here. So, if I could just get in there, a bubble. Thank you. Oh, they're passing me. Oh, there we go. See, look how easy this is. Like, all you have to do is take the shell from them. Steal it, basically, because Luigi's a criminal. And, um, talk to the- and then give this guy. Now, watch what he says after this. Amazing, I did- Oh, thanks, guy! You didn't think I could do it? Wow. That's kind of... Not very faithful, so... I mean, yeah, screw you, dude. Amazing, I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Yeah, I know. And now- No, not- not this, but after this. Actually, no, I think it's, um, after he makes this up here. Well then, here's a big, here's a big gold medal for you. Yeah, it's after he makes the star appear. Okay. So the star's, you know, floating over to its spot, and now look what he says here. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? Yeah, he's not. I'm not even one of his students. Yeah, I got a gold shell. All right, you know what? Since you didn't have any faith in me, bye bye. Get out of here. Oh, I kind of threw it underwater. I meant to throw it over there. Whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna take my star. Get lost, homie. Not really my homie, but still. You're very mean. Alright, so. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Passing the swim test. It's one. I also like that star. I mean, it's not one of my favorites, but I mean, it's like, it's, you know, it's okay, you know? I mean, yeah, I'm okay, you know? I mean, yeah. It just. It's easy. For a star that's kind of midway into the game. Not really, though. I mean, we don't even have 60 stars. About a third into the game. No, a fourth. A fourth. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're, we're a fourth into the game. Because, you know, 30 times 4, 120, and there's 121 stars in the game. So, I mean, math, are you good at it? I know. The Secret Undersea Cavern. This is also another one of my favorite galaxies because I... This gal- alright, so this- that planet was obviously run back into the Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, in the S world, which is why I, I don't like it. I like how they did that, I don't know why, 
but I'm cool with it. Alright, so now we have to go underwater, but what I was trying to say is to get the one up. Alright. One, two, no. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shot die, do. Alright. So let's uh, touch the camera. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Whoop, whoop. All right, so I, I just want to get that for the reason of getting it. So let's get that. Thank you. All right, so it's really easy. It shut off in the cutscene for this level. I mean, you just have to throw a shell into that. It might not all be, it might not be all that obvious, but I mean, that circle with the sw that rock with the sur swirl on it is kind of suspicious, show. And I don't like these bad guys because of that reason. Yeah, the swirl seemed a little uh, suspicious, show. I can't even say it. Suspicious, show. Nope. Get ow, you suck. Get a little suspicious, show. Suspicious. Suspicious. Okay. I don't know why. I'm just having trouble for what? For reasons. No, yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you all. No, I'm not. Oh, did I? Did I kill him while I was blasting you off? Oh my god. Oh, that's what happened. That's what happened when I was at Yoshi Master 1026's house. I slammed in my face into the rock. Oh, I did Oopsie. Okay, I don't know if I killed that bat while I was launching out at launch star, but you know, I might have. Which would have been hilarious. So, shortcuts! Oh wait, okay, I thought I almost died. Oh yeah, I think I removed that in the second game. And the music here is really quiet for some reason, but... Alright, moved along, moved along. Yeah, they're this slow in the first game. I can kind of see why they sped it up in the second game. Alright, let's get my star bits. Stair bits. Alright. So, oh yeah, in this game, there's a thwomp. And in the second game, they replaced the thwomp with, like, the two slidey things. Probably because the thwomp would have been too unforgiving. Especially if you, like... Well, yeah, no, because you die in one if you get squished, so... It would kind of be unfair, Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, but they're jerks because that stupid penguin didn't believe in me. I don't like him. Mean, he's dumb. He's a big meanie. I can't even right now. Alright, so we're at 15 minutes. Yeah, we- yeah, okay. We can definitely complete this galaxy because the, um, the hidden star is in the, uh, we're doing right now, so, yeah. I actually kind of forgot about that when I was, um, playing that level, and the swim test one, even though I kind of mentioned it already. So, Beach Ball Galaxy, even though, I mean, we just played on it, you already know the name of it, but, alright, so, the hidden star is in the third mission, I don't know if you can, I think you can get it earlier, like, in both of these, because I don't know why you wouldn't be able to, I'm pretty sure you can, so, let's skip that, because you already saw it. Let's go over here, get this shell. Wow! We're gonna start it! Alright. Woo! Woo! Alright. And then there's a penguin in. Okay, and another penguin. Why are there even penguins here in the first place? This is like a tropical beach, not an arctic... ...snow... ...mountain place, igloos all over the place. Seals. Can I just get up here? Thanks. I, yeah, I don't know why they're here. Probably because they can think of anyone else. Speaking of, there's only- speaking of, like, Arctic places, there's only one in the game, I think. And that's kind of sucky, because I like- I like snow levels. Well, I mean, I like some snow levels, like, in this game, because it's not really, like- Because you have the spin mechanic, and you can, you know, spin on the ice. Oh! Oh, speaking of ice! Uh, wait, no, I don't think you can get it without this cataclysm. Speaking of ice, oh my gosh, you are about to be blown away right now. Like, oh my, you don't even know. You don't even know. S 
Speaking of ice, so oh, gee, what could that ever be? La 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 la! You transform into ice, Luigi. Shake feet need to skate. If you you can walk on water too. Okay, so when you ice Lu, ice Luigi, I love the ice flower so much in this game. I have no idea why they decided to get rid of it in the second game. I mean, actually, I think they were um, gonna bring it back, but they kind of, you know, did it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, this is one of my favorite power-ups. Um, yeah. Alright, so come on. Follow me. No. Stop. Follow me. Or not. You know, you can just, you know, keep doing that. Come on, come on. Oh, no, I killed him! I'm sorry, but not really. Ow! Can I just, like, not die, please? Because that doesn't work. Alright. I, I don't know why they got rid of this power-up. I love the idea that you can, like, create platforms while skating. That's really cool. Alright. Don't fall in! Uh, oh, no. Come after me. Alright, so what you have to do, essentially, is... Oh, my... Bro, you just died? You just killed yourself again. Wow. Alright, I have to wait. Alright, so, well, I guess this might, really, I hate you, you know, get out of here. Oh my gosh, why did you do that, you silly, like, you just, you just killed himself, like, I didn't even make him come after me, he just was walking, and then was like, okay, I'm gonna kill myself, and then he just, he did it again, wow, how stupid, oh my gosh, that AI, though, that AI, though. Yeah, can you, like, come after me, please? Go around these ice things, because they suck. Don't kill yourself! Oh my gosh. Oh! I thought I saved him! I guess not. Alright. Woo! Alright. Come on, quick, 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 quick. No! Don't be dead. Come on, just, like, come here. I didn't have this much trouble with them when I... I was playing at Yoshi Master 1026's house. Don't get that. Don't get that. Don't get that. Thank you. Thank you! That's all I wanted! But, I mean... Yeah, first appearance of the Ice Flower. My favorite item in the whole game. Not even joking. Well, maybe... No, no. It's my favorite item. I don't know why they got rid of it, but they did. I mean, like, you know, Miyamoto was considering making a third game, meaning... He's thinking about it, obviously. So I'm really hoping that if he does decide to make it, that the Ice Flower will turn and Oh, we have a Fast Flow comment here, which is a new comment that we haven't seen yet. So. Oh, man. Cataquax, man. Cataquax. Are funny. Cataquax are so funny. That's so gonna be the title of this episode. Oh, my gosh. Fast Flow's on Cyclone Stone. No, how about... No, no. Because, I mean, that wouldn't really fit well and it wouldn't be all that funny. I was gonna say, how about killing enemies? I mean, that- Nah. Just nah, because it would've been funnier if it was been, like, enemies committing suicide because that cataclysm was just... Wow. I mean, I don't- I, I don't even know. I mean, when I killed that bat in the launch star, which I probably did, I don't know for sure, but I probably did. I mean, he didn't really commit suicide, but he was... He he died. I'm just gonna call it Cataplax or Funny. They kind of are. Alright, so... They actually were in Super Mario Sunshine, and then they were, you know... What?! How about that hitbox? I wasn't even in him. Like, I was in his teeth, but like, on the part where it went in. So, like, it wasn't on the pointy part, it was on, I don't know, I don't even know, the hitbox, I mean, yeah. I, I just, I don't know. And for some reason the music's quiet here again. I don't know what the big deal yo about that is, but it's a thing. Alright, so let's -a go. Let's not die by, no, let's not die cheaply this time. Please. 
Alright, so let's get our stair bits. Thank you, Howdy Mosh. Gonna do some hardcore shortcuts here. Yeah, see, I can understand why they got rid of this because the fast foe would be way too unforgiving. Yeah. Boom! And I like it how when it freezes, you can see how like big Luigi's hands get and Mario's hands, you know, whoever you're playing as, when you spin. It's just cool. So I think we have time for another star. Um, it's actually gonna be in a different galaxy, obviously. We just completed this one as far as it can be completed. Yeah. Fast falls on the Cyclone Stone Beach More Galaxy. Increase your starter count. Well, not a count, but count. You know what I mean? Oh. All right. So yeah. Those cat, those cat, those kind of cops thought. All right. So Ghostly Galaxy. I think like this is like Battle Rock is kind of two words put together. Like a compound word, but this isn't even one. Like, I think Ghostly Galaxy might be one of the only galaxies in the whole game to be only two words. Not counting Battle Rock Galaxy, that's kind of a compound word, like I just said. So, this level, Luigi in the Haunted Mansion. Now, I don't know why I said Mansion Ridley, but I did, but that's not what I was gonna say. What I was gonna say is, Oh my gosh, the gravity on this toad mushroom thing. No, but that was kind of cool. But, what I was, like, for, for the realsies, um, like, Luigi in the Haunted Mansion. Now, we're playing as Luigi, like, right now, as you can clearly see. How in the world are we saving ourselves? Time paradoxes, just like, Nintendo doesn't make sense. You know, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Nintendo does not make any sense. I mean, it, they do, they do. Alright, so I'm just gonna kill these booze. Kill the booze. Alright, just come out of the painting, please. Yeah, shortcuts. Well, <coughs> I mean, paradoxes. Well, not really time paradoxes, but just kinda like. Uh. Uh. I mean. I don't know, really. Okay! All right, then, but... All right, we just start from... Ah, oh, come on, we have to do it the lame way. Whatever. So, I mean, you know, they could actually be in the real world. You never know. But... Unless when you do know. Ow, that kind of hurt. Ow, that kind of hurt. Whatever. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's getting scratchy now. Over here. No! No! I need that coin. Alright, hopefully don't hopefully don't die, because I don't want to. I mean, yeah, who says that time paradoxes aren't really real? Ow. That could have killed me. Alright, and you're dead. Thank you. Have a nice day. Now, in here is a secret level. Well, not really a level, but just a secret area that... Let's go down here. To, there's a thingy. Oh, no, it's up here. Oh, no. There it is. Okay. So, I mean, it's just a way to get coins. I don't know if you can really, like... Well, I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Oh! Yeah! Waha! Oh, yeah, you do get a one-up. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know if you get a one-up just, like, from that minigame, or if it's, like, if you collect 50 coins. What? Okay, I would've been so mad if, like, there's a black hole there. That would've been really cheap. But, you know... Nintendo's always like that! Just saying, just saying, just saying. Just spin the facts out. Oh! No, you're not! Come here! Thank you. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's go and save ourselves! Yep. I mean, they could be real. Time paradoxes could very well be real. We just don't know it yet. Like, maybe that's what's on the other side of a black hole, because... There's actually a thing... I mean, it would kind of- it kind of makes sense, because... No, please don't- Oh, hi! Um... There's actually- oh. 
That's the first time I ever died on that. There's actually a thing called a, a white hole. Now, they're not doing that to be racist or anything. They're just saying that. Because, like, a white hole is a thing where it's basically the complete opposite of a black hole. It, instead of sucking things in, it spews things out for like a quick second and then it quickly turns into a black hole because of how dense it is. Well, I mean, it's kind of the same situation as if it were a, um, a star because of like gravity and whatnot. So. Well, I mean density, that's basically it. You transform into Poo Luigi, say thing, you can vanish. Yeah, I know, I know. New power up though. So that's good. Oh, and we have to go up here. You could even just like triple jump and like, well, you don't even have to triple jump. You can just like jump, backflip, spin, and then touch, and then wall jump and then spin it again. And then you can get the secret one up. Well, no, it's not really all the secrets. It's kind of hidden things. Like, well, it's not really. Well, you know it is hidden. So let's uh. Oh yeah, if you hit light. If I can, oh no. Can I get it? Oh wow, I didn't even get to get it. But yeah, if you touch light. You turn back into regular Luigi because it kind of makes sense. Because, you know, girls kind of hide out in the dark. Because they chicken! Well, actually, no, they're not chicken, they're ghosts. So. Realism! Alright, so if we go out here, yeah, we just. Oh, yeah, and booze are attracted to you now because. I guess they're girls! Or. Another thing. Oh, Luigi looks cool when he's on the trampoline. Like, he spreads his legs out. Like, hold on, I'll show you it again. I'll show it again. Ah, yeah, that's- I don't, I don't know, I kinda like that. That's how I jump, really. Like, I do that a lot. I do that a lot. So, yeah, white holes are actually a thing. And, you know, maybe on the other side, like, maybe that's where the stuff the black holes suck in and come out, you know? Maybe. Because it's actually kind of- well, it hasn't been seen. But there's been, like, kind of, of evidence, but it hasn't been seen, like, fully or anything. Oh my! Are you teeny me? Well, I guess there's enough people in the universe to look for one person to look like me. But anyway, I found a teeny power star. Let's take it back. Alright. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's totally, it could be totally real. I mean, just gotta use your noggin! Hashtag other YouTube reference. Let's go home. Yes, I know. I mean, science is pretty cool. I mean, I like science. Heck, I even have an A in it right now, I know. I got like a 97 or something, you know, I'm just like... So pro at everything, bro, that rhymed with not intentionally, though. So did that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry, Luigi and the Haunted Mansion Ghost of the Galaxy. High score up here. I'm still calling this episode, Cat Quacks Are Funny, because... I mean, I can't even- I can't forget that, you know? Okay. Hiccups. I can see your twin. I can see your twin thingy! Oh no- ah! I can see your thingy twin from here. If you ask him, I bet he'll help you- uh, to help you search for the thingy power stars. And I'm sure he has a lot to tell you. You should go speak with him over by the garage! Yes, I'd like to save my game! So, I mean, time paradoxes could definitely be a thing. Or just, like, another universe. Parallel universe is a better word. So, that's it for this episode, guys. We saved ourselves because of a, you know, parallel universe. And, you know, next episode, we will be completing Ghostly Galaxy and maybe, possibly, even the whole kitchen. Actually, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. Because we have to do, um... Like, three more star- no, probably four more stars in Ghost of the Galaxy because of that, uh, comet. And there's also gonna be a star in that one. And then, two stars for one of the question block galaxies that turns into a galaxy. Yes, there's two stars in one of them. Another star for one of the other question block galaxies, and then the Bowser. Which brings up to a total of eight stars, which I'm pretty sure we won't be able to pull off. So, just see you guys next time! Bye-bye! And quite a... Oh my gosh! Quite a quack.